uh, uh, Twitter handles at Son of Man at 665, Instagram at The Underground Broadcast, and at The Underground Broadcast for a TikTok, which I don't think it's going to be there for much longer. I don't even know why I'm uploading videos. We were banned from TikTok too. Two of my videos this week, they sent me an email saying they, they muted them. You know what? What do you mean you muted? Oh, they, we don't like what you're saying, but we're going to leave the video up. It's just not going to have any sound. I talk in all my videos. The things that I say is the point in my videos, and you're going to mute me? Well, fuck you! I don't have subtitles on my shit to come out and people know what I'm saying, you idiots. Have you any idea how long, how hard I had to work to fucking make a, a, a one minute video, upload it, and now you want me to put the letters because you're gonna mute me? Fuck you, TikTok, you fucking Chinese communist sons of bitches. You know what happens when Joe Biden takes over America? You're gonna be censored for everything. You cannot say nothing. They're gonna mute you in your videos. You post on your social medias. Fuck you. I'm glad they're banning Twitter and getting the fuck out of here or TikTok. We don't want it. Piece of shit. Anyways, you can subscribe if you want. I don't really give a fuck. I'm getting angry, you guys. The show just started. God damn it. Fuck TikTok. Uh, anyways, whatever you send me, social media, so I'll post up here and shit. Like a good friend, Goma Kyle, sent me something this week. He sent me his wife, got him this badass fucking uh, Army of Darkness. Fucking, uh, uh, what's this guy's name? Jim Carrey? No, what's his name? Bruce Campbell. Uh, he said, this is my boomstick and shit. That's like the best one. I love the Evil Dead. I, I had them all on DVDs. I really like them. Uh, the new ones are okay. I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of disgusting and shit. Uh, I mean, there's a girl who gets a knife and goes starts cutting her own tongue and shit. But uh, I don't know. I really like uh, the original ones. They're so cool. The first one's kind of silly. Yeah, and it's the second one's actually the second one's sillier than the first. The first one's more serious. The second one's sillier, and then the third one, which is my favorite, is just uh, just completely whacked out. Uh, but I really really like it. That's a cool shirt, Gomer. I'm jealous. He also sent me a picture of the full moon this week with chemtrails at night. Those sons of bitches. As if poisoning us during the early mornings, every goddamn Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday isn't enough. They gotta do it at night too. Fuck you. You get sick and tired. You know, the other day I had the door open and shit because it was really cool for the first time in a while. So I didn't have to turn on my AC for once. For one day only, I got to save electricity, save some money in my pocket. Fuck you, Joe Biden. Just got to save some money. I had the door open. And I heard the loudest fucking sonic boom. It sounded like fucking Rodan was flying right outside my fucking apartment. The window shook. And it was everything was vibrating. My dog was freaking out. I go outside, and of course it's nighttime. It's pitch dark. I'm looking at the sky. You can't see shit. You're flying the Aurora, the brand new fucking Aurora. Aurora, that motherfucker can go like from zero to a million miles an hour in a second and shit. And it's camouflage. You can't see it, and it fucking, it's, it's ready to blow up the earth, drop bombs everywhere, nukes everywhere, and they're testing it out. I think that's what they call it, the Aurora, and shit. I, I, I want to see it, but they only fly it at night. They camouflage. They use that shit that the Avengers have. All of a sudden, it disappears, and shit. Tony Stark. Uh, what's it called? That, that, uh, Boeing? No, it's not Boeing. L Lockheed Martin. Over there by the base, a lot of motherfuckers, a lot of the rich white motherfuckers work there. Illuminati, they're building this shit with our tax dollars. They're just trying to find better ways to destroy the earth faster with bombs and shit and your money. Anyways, yeah, go my cause. Stay indoors. Try not to breathe the air, okay? Word of advice. Be careful. Don't breathe the air. It's dangerous. Cheers, Gomer. Thank you for sending me that to go to, to social media. I was had another woke pack member. Super Saiyan Joku sent me this earlier today on the Instagram. He said, I'm going to try this Jello edible shit and cocaine in a can. 
Slimy yet satisfying. Oh, yeah. Smoking up and got the munchies ready for the night show at the underground broadcast. Son of man, I'll see you soon. Cheers, my flowers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag THC 400 milligrams. Hashtag Mary Jane. Oh, yeah. That weed you have looks exactly... Well, actually, no, I was going to say it kind of looks like the one I have, but the one I currently have... Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Look at this shit. It's got green and orange hairs all over it. It's fucking beautiful, man. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, this is the best. I told my guy, hey, next time you get some more of this, you let me know. I'll come over here. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> I just want some more. He said he called me when he gets some shit. Cocaine in a can? That's some crazy. Why is it spicy? I don't think I would ever want to drink something that says it's cocaine in a can, and yet it's spicy. I mean, a spicy drink? I don't know. I'm gonna drink that and shit. What's it a Bloody Mary or a motherfucking what's it called? A Michelada and shit. I don't think I'm gonna have a spicy Red Bull. That's crazy. Uh, those are some good munchies, motherfucker. Uh, you got you got some good munchies there. What you got? Let me see what you get right here. Some popcorn, some cinnamon rolls, and is that cereal? I think that was cereal. What is the cereal? Let me see. Tony the Tiger. That is cereal. Why do you have Tony the Tiger cereal? <laughs> You're just gonna eat cornflakes, you crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Jello edible shit. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah. Dollar store food is the best. You know? That's where every hardworking American shops nowadays. God damn it. Even the suburban mothers are, are downgrading from Walmart to the dollar store. That's how hard the economy is right now. I'm seeing white ladies with blonde hair and blue eyes shopping at the fucking dollar store. I'm like, lady, the Walmart's over there. Leave the brown people over here. It's too expensive. Uh, fuck you. Coming into my store. Bitch. You better wear some. You better wear something skimpier if you're gonna be up in this bitch. See that fat lady over there with that thong? That's the way you gotta come in here. You are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She called the cops on me. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Joker. Thank you for sending me this shit. I'ma smoke this one up for you, motherfucker. <sighs> it really has been a shitty week, but I gotta tell you. Being here on a Friday night makes it worth it. Cheers to you all. And remember, live. Motherfuckers, cheers. <sighs> all right, yeah, I, 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 I've become more lactose intolerant or whatever as I got an older, uh, you know, I hardly drink milk nowadays. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's get started with the motherfucking comments. Reading the comments for y'all. And the first comment, oh, it's none other than our resident Canuck. Let me hit it for this guy. You know, I just realized I put a, I got this new keyboard and I don't even know uh, what numbers some of these guys are. I mean, I know Gomer and, <laughs> and Indie Phantom, these uh, motherfuckers uh, commented earlier. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to know what they're, what to play their music and shit. I'm going to see if I have it here written down somewhere. I might have to go pick up the other keyboard from the trash. To, to to read it and shit you sons of bitches yeah i don't i don't have it here god damn it you see what you all do hombre 
spilling beer all over my keyboard, losing all the settings and the numbers. I'm going to have to guess in a little while. It's probably six or seven, some shit like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, Indy Phantom on the podcast radio says, Oh, yeah. You're getting close to 600 subs. Yeah, we're at 595. That's the closest we've ever been. I'm telling you. It was the racisms of he who should not be named that was holding us back. Because ever since that son of a bitch left, we've been getting skyrocketing to the top. We're going to be famous by the end of this fucking month. That motherfucker's no longer here. It was. That was fast as fuck, he says. It was. Ever since that son of a bitch left, like I said. He said, Nah, son. Superman 3 is slightly w the woke one with Richard Pryor, not Nuclear Man. Bullshit. It's the one where Superman fights his evil twin. It's pretty dope. J James Gunn will never come close to the Christopher Reeves legacy. Cheers. Cheers. That's actually the one Superman movie I don't like. The one with Richard Pryor. It's lame as fuck. Like, you expect me to believe Richard Pryor's like some kind of fucking genius and knows like all these like science and equations and shit. Uh, gambling and shit. Codes and shit. It's fucking bullshit. And then the whole thing about Superman. He didn't want to be Superman, then he, he splits into two. And then the other Superman's all like, it's crazy, the little boy, come meet my mom. The Superman's being a dick and he's gonna like fuck his mom. <laughs> it's so crazy, bro. I remember that, that movie. I didn't like it though. I, I don't like that one. Uh, but I remember it. Uh, James Gunn will never, never come close to anything. Get a sippy cup. We need to invent one. A sippy cup would be good for the beer. It could go down a little smoother because I'm always burping and getting gas and, and uh, neuritis and shit. Uh, so it'll definitely help. That's a good good idea, Gomer Kyle. Got to patent that shit. Adult sippy cups. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, any Phantom. Thank you for commenting. You Canuck. Oh, shit. I'm knocking shit down left and right, fellas. Let me move this out of the way. Put you over there. There you go. My lizard. I'll bring him out later. Anyways. Uh, he commented again. And he says, P.S. Greta Thunberg did not direct Barbie. How dare you? It was Greta Gerwig who does all these wokey woke feminine flicks. Margot Robbie kind of sucked as Barbie, to be honest. Cheers time. <laughs> Um, I don't know why you oh, cheers time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't know what her name is. Greta Gerwig or what? Durnberg? I don't know. There's a lot of fucking Gerdas out there. There's a one in Harry Potter, and there's a probably a million of them over there in England and shit. Wasn't there one in American Idol? The little fucking little ugly little girl or lady who won and shit. I don't remember. There's a lot of Gretas out there. I'm sorry I mispronounced their names or whatever the fuck. All I know is that they directed Barbie and, and some. I don't even know what I don't even know what I said. Indy Phantom. I don't even know why you even brought this up if I don't even remember what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I don't know what I said. Greta Thunberg, uh, Gerwig. Hey, fuck all this. We're moving on. It's been five days. Six days ago, in the Phantom, trying to remind me of shit I don't remember. <laughs> Cheers, motherfucker. It helps you out put a timestamp and see what I what happened or what I said, because I don't fucking know. The cunt. Oh, let me hit it for him. I think I do know this guy. I think this guy is this one. I beat this one. No. Oh, shit. He's this one. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slot ready, because the cunt is here. Alright. I should have known, because number three is my favorite. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No favorites, no favorites, I'm just saying. No homo, I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways, the cut says... On the Red Hulk in the MCU spoilers, the picture they showed... We got another picture tonight, fellas. 
But he says, Ha ha ha, Ebola, AIDS, Hulk, instead of gamma radiation, it was STDs that mutated him. Ha ha ha, Harrison Ford got STDs, 82-year-old, 83-year-old Harrison Ford got STDs from a fucking uh, Nigerian prostitute while they were filming this movie in South Africa. Ha ah, ha that's fucked up, bro. Cheers! The cut. We miss you. Motherfucker's probably asleep right now. Oh, a new person? Jess Rivers, DK3ZJ, on the podcast video. Um, they put a they put a timestamp, but they say wise words by the weirdest dot 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 a uh, man question mark I've ever seen. All right, I'll, I'll I'll address your little comment, but let me see what the what what what, what timestamp you put here. Ooh, I thought about wearing the fake eyelashes, but they just don't look that good. I'm sorry, I mean, really don't. Unless you're a stripper. You have no business wearing fake eyelashes. That's all I'm gonna say. Unless you're a stripper or a porn star, you shouldn't be wearing fake eyelashes. Cars. That's true. Unless you're a stripper or a porn star, you have no business wearing that fake shit on your fucking face. You dumbass. Women. Uh, so Jess River says the wise words by the weirdest man? Question mark I've ever seen. Yes. This is a man with a penis. Just likes to identify, uh, identify, identify as a transsexual female. There you go. Not binary. Sometimes on a Wednesday night. All right. Any other night, it's all game. Cheers. All right. Thank you, Jess, for commenting. Anthony Timmons, the motherfucking hog. On the Rebel Wilson, expo Rebel Wilson exposes Hollywood elite video. I never liked her anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked her a lot. She was fat. I don't like her anymore. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> Cheers, Timmons. Thank you for commenting. Here's where it's going to get into the guessing game, fellas, because here we go with Doug on Funny. And I said, like, I'm going to try to memorize who, who, what these numbers are. I think he's number five. Let's see. No. Then he's got to be six. Fuck. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I have to write this shit down somewhere. I had the other keyboard. I had the, 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 the words there and everything. I don't have it on this one. There is one two. No. Oh. No. There he is. Woke as fuck. Ah, it's embarrassing. There's so many woke pack members. So many of your motherfuckers don't even show up anymore, and I'm still clicking your ass. Sons of bitches. <laughs> uh, Doug on Funny says. On the Alec Baldwin continues his Zionistic ways. This is a perfect example of how these leftists are nowadays. They will quickly condemn their own peers. If their views suddenly don't align with the majority. I remember when the left defended Israel and labeled everyone else as terrorists. Oh, how the world has changed. Tears, son of man. Hashtag. Uh, I'll say one thing. I was spewing the Muslim rhetoric way before 9-11, motherfucker. Before it was cool. All right. Whenever 9-11 happened, I was chastised. And people were saying, like, hey, don't be saying that Muslim shit. You're going to fucking... You're going to get arrested. They're telling me you're going to be thrown in camp or something. You're talking all that, mus that nonsense about Jesus and the Muslim and all this ass. And like, fuck you. And, uh, and yeah, people were mad. And then, like... Uh, whenever I listen to System of a Down or had a System of a Down shirt, every day hey, get those fucking um, terrorists, get, get get that shit out of here. I'm like, fuck you, you know. So I was doing it before the fucking left thought it was cool. 
all of a sudden they flip sides it's true a few years ago they used to be all pro-israel and all this government ass and save the jews and now it's all like they want to murder all the jews uh it's crazy it's crazy we're gonna talk about some of that tonight during the pop culture for some of you motherfuckers uh but yeah it's just a uh, the left is the weirdest place they've turned on on themselves all the time and not only that but they've flipped their own views all the time you know and shit they don't they don't even know what they believe in anymore that's a that's the truth you know at least the, the right at least they still stay true to whatever the fuck bullshit they they believe in some fucking don't look at porn or whatever don't masturbate and all that ass don't hold hands all that shit you know they haven't changed you know, these motherfuckers, they're so confused about uh, men and women and shit. They don't even know what the fuck they believe in anymore. How the fuck are they even a working party? You know, that's why the president's the way he is. And their, their economy and the government and everything. Dumbasses. Fuck the left. You know, that's what the, the music, everybody, I knew remember back in the, in the, in the 2000s. This conspiracy and it's true. You go back and you listen to the music. People used to say to the left and the left side and left this and to the left, to the left, to the left. It was in all the songs. And everybody, I, I knew what they were doing. They're trying to change the mindsets of the fucking poor, fucking millen little youngsters growing up, the Zoomers. To the left, to the left. And here we are, to the left. Look at the shape of the country now. You idiots. Go away. Cheers, Doug, I'm funny. Oh, canceled for life. And oh, we just fucking caught this motherfucker. Doug, I'm funny, you son of a bitch. We caught one of your fake accounts. I think we just realized you were actually canceled for life because it says Doug on funny 9630. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this guy made a fake account. No wonder we got new subscribers, but we don't get more views, you son of a bitch. Thank you for that. <laughs> but let me hit it for your fake account, since your fake account has been a woke pack member, you dick. <laughs> uh, where is he? I think he's, uh, he's canceled for life, right? So canceled for life is this one. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. So another. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever try to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three things that a black man can't get? A black eye, a fat lip, and a job. I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. Hey, you know what? I just realized it. The YouTube's fucking up. Because I just refreshed it. And it is Doug on funny. I'm confused. I think because the next, the next, the next comment is canceled for life. And the avatar changed. I'm thinking the YouTube fucked up. That's weird. It made it seem like you were canceled for life there for a few seconds. You see that? It changed. This is the fucking... You see? You're fucking with us. You're fucking with this channel from the start. Doug I'm Funny, you let me know if that's you or not. Or if you have a fake account or Doug I'm Funny. Because look, it's, it's reverted back. You all see it. I'm not fucking paranoid. There it is right there. I think the YouTube fucked up, and for some strange reason, it moved the avatar from up here and it moved it down here for that second, and it made me think that that was canceled for life. So I'm sorry, Doug. I'm funny. I played your your intro because I thought it was you. Uh, canceled for life. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Who is who? Fuck you, YouTube. This channel's constantly getting sabotaged by YouTube and their affiliates and shit. Goddamn Joe Biden lovers. Anyways, 
Doug Unfunny, not canceled for life. He wrote on the Nightcrawler got retconned. Wow, talk about forced wokeness. I had no idea they had done that in the comics. Idiotic, it's like you said, it would make more sense. He's a Sazel son due to the likeness and powers they both share. Marvel Comics is dead. He did get someone who replied to him. I usually don't read replies, but I'm kind of interested what this nerd said. Darth E. Cool One. Edit. I just now actually read the description. Four just had to argue this much, but I'll leave this here. This was the original intent from Chris Claremont, the best and most famous X-Men creator besides Hickman. Oh, I love Jonathan Hickman. He's the best one. And all the things you like about X-Men were made by him and were incredibly careful with the retcon to say basically Azazel unknowingly did imprint part of his essence onto Kurt. So it's more of a three-way split of being the parent. So every story still counts. He's just more like House, the... Asari in Mass Effects use their partner's genetic code to alter, alter some things while it not literally being a direct sperm in the egg. Also, X-23 and Miranda Lawson from Mass Effects and Cammy from Street Fighter all are famous and are female clones of men. Oh yeah, Cammy is of Ken, I think. It's superbly Connor Kent suddenly woke because he has the son of Lex Luthor and Clark via cloning. Cloning has nothing to do with it. Like, they literally said Mystique impregnated herself. They didn't, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, obviously, this nerd has all the fucking com more comic books than me. All I know is that I just read the one where they explained briefly, not into this much detail, that, uh, Mystique impregnated herself and Azazel really was not Nightcrawler's son, which to me didn't make no sense. But according to this nerd here, He's saying that he gave, so, I don't know, when his dick was inside of Mystique, he gave her some of the powers, I guess. I don't know. It sounds like a bunch of forced woke shit to me. Darth Equal One. That's all I'm going to say. Cheers. And thank you for replying to Doug Unfunny and being on this channel. Cheers. Uh, let me see. Now, it's canceled for life, Culture War Bandit 99. I'm going to play his intro again because he fucked up on the other one. It wasn't him. It was Doug Unfunny. The fucking shit's fucking up. But here we go. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. So another. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever tried to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three things that a black man can't get? A black eye, a fat lip, and a job. I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. You know, I've never seen that movie. And uh, I should download it. It's got Bernie Mac in it. I think I have every Bernie and Mac movie. My favorite one is the one with Samuel L. Jackson. Soulman. Oh my god, I've never... The profanity in that movie is beautiful. Ah! Every two words is fuck you. N-word. Motherfucker. Ah, shit like that. Um, so I, I, I think I'm gonna... I, I forget what this one's called. Son-in-law or, or the in-laws. I don't know. Ashton Kutcher is dating the black daughter. And she takes them to go see them. And shit, Bernie Mac's the dad. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta remember to download that one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Culture World Bandit uh, Council for Life says, "Son, it sounds like someone took your advice. Weinstein was hospitalized after being released by prison. LOL. Cheers. Oh, it's because I was saying that." Why the fuck are you idiots out there running up to little old Asian women and punching them and knocking them unconscious and then running away for no reason? Just random fucking old Asian people. 
Fuck you, do it to Weinstein, you sons of bitches. He's the one who deserves to get punched and you run away. Make sure he gets concussed on the way down to the floor. And before his head hits the ground, concuss him already. So when his head impacts on the concrete, it'll be a double concussion. That's how hard you have to hit that son of a bitch. Um, yeah. Now, I don't know if somebody actually did that, but he did wound up. He was hospitalized, they said, as soon as he was released from prison. You know, maybe the, the fresh air of freedom. He got too excited because, oh, I'm going to get to rape and molest women again. And, and he had a heart attack or something. He got too excited. His blood pressure went up and he had to go get hospitalized. Uh, it's pretty serious, y'all. It's pretty serious. I'm not gonna cover any of that ass tonight, because unfortunately he didn't die. I was kind of hoping he did. <laughs> uh, but anyways, here's another, uh, public service announcement to everybody out there. If you did it, if you weren't the one who punched him and sent him to a hospital, make sure you go back to the hospital right now while he's hospitalized and finish the job. Get it done right. Go up to his hospital bed, put a fucking pillow over his head while he's sleeping, or punch him in the stomach and shit, or rip out his IV in his fucking oxygen tube. Do it. I didn't tell you to do it. I was just fantasizing, saying to tell you to do it. But it was a fantasy, right? Anyways, cheers, canceled for life. Guess who? He says so men was Gomer Kyle says so men was in Bernie Mac's last movie. It was his last movie. I remember because it said at the end of the credits and they showed all the outtakes. It was badass. I stayed at the movie theaters and watched all the outtakes and shit. Um and he says, Guess who is the one with Ashton Kutcher? I gotta download it. Even though Ashton Kutcher is kind of a child molester himself. I don't, show, I don't know if I should... I mean, downloading it, I'm not really supporting it. I'm not paying for it, so, you know... You know I don't have to feel feel bad about it. But I wouldn't buy it. Got a pervert on it. Anyways, Anthony Timmons on the Ozempic epidemic is spreading. He says, I thought they all looked that way. Zombie would. Well, they always did look kind of morbid. But now, with the Ozempic, they look like ghouls. They look like skin attached to fucking skeletons. Like husks, empty husks. They really do, you know? Christ wasn't lying when he said, The dead will rise and walk again! Yeah, we're seeing it right now in Hollywood. All these small fuckers should be dead right now, but something's keeping them alive. The contract with the devil. And shit. Cheers, Timbits. Thank you for commenting. <laughs> Indie Phantom and the Nightcrawler got retcon. He says, Oh, yeah. I can't remember if I commented this week, but I just wanted to say that Nightcrawler in X2 was woke as fuck, played by Alan Cummings. Terrible last name for a dude, he says. I know. And I knew, I knew back then when they, when, when, when I saw him, I'm like, oh, that's Alan Cummings. That's like, cause me, I mean, even back then before the wokeness started, I was already like up to date, you know, with like if Ezra Miller would have been in Hollywood back then, I would have been all over it and shit, you know, back then when he wasn't a criminal and shit and, and wasn't misrepresenting a movement, D idiot, took us back 20 years with his bullshit. Anyways, um, I would have been all over it. But I was all over Alan Cummings. I said, oh, yeah, I didn't woke guys fuck, motherfucker, Nightcrawler. I remember he went on the Tonight Show to, to represent X2 when it was called and doing the interviews and shit. He came out with these pants that were, like, not even below his ankles. You could see his ankles because they were up like that. And he was wearing loafers with no socks. And he, he crossed his legs like that, and it looked woke as fuck. You saw his exposed ankle and his little loafers and shit. Oh, yeah, and he got a little vest on. It was all like, like little flowers on his vest and shit. He looked pimp as fuck. He looked pimp as fuck. I like Cummings. I like Adam Cummings. He's a good guy. I will say, I did not, I did not like his accent in, uh, in, uh, as Nightcrawler, or the teeth, I think it was the teeth that was not letting him talk correctly or something. It sounded like a, he had a lisp or something. I liked him in Goldeneye. He was badass in Goldeneye. 
And I remember the the password was was chair. The chick thought it was something perverted like ass or booty. Ha <laughs> And then the bonds all like, what's the password? What's another word for, for ass? He goes, what do you mean? Yeah, something you sit on. And he's like, chair. Bing. <laughs> like for the first time, Alan Cumming wasn't being a pervert. <laughs> it was just a chair. That was a funny uh, Golden Eye. I don't know y'all remember. I love Golden Eye. That's my favorite Bond movie, Golden Eye. Is that the sexiest women? Golden Eye, the bad guy, was super hot. I forget who the chick was that was in that too. She was hot too. This is another girl. Golden Eye is a good one. I like Golden Eye. That's all I'm going to say. Cheers. The teeth were very fucked up on Nightcrawler. I didn't like him. And I'm telling you, he couldn't speak well. It's like, like Ben, ben Middleson in, uh, playing Talos, the scroll with those teeth. You can you can't even talk right? Like motherfucker, you CGI the shit out of every movie. CGI the teeth on the motherfucker. Let the actor speak right so you can hear and pronounce the words correctly. Marvel's a bunch of fucking idiots sometimes, man. I swear to God. I gotta get another beer for this. Cheers, Indy. I never saw Josie and the Pussycats, Gomer. Uh, that sounds like a movie I should have seen though. They're like the perfect movie for me. I need to download that. I gotta write it down. Cause that's like right up my world. That and Spice. I, I mean, I know I have, I have Spice World. Oh yeah, but I gotta download Josie and the Pussycats. That woke ass fuck chick that came out in that, uh, She's All That was in Josie and the Pussycats, I think. I forget what that chick's name is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, there, there are. They're written down, and I'm downloading them with my VPN, Windscribe VPN. Cheers, Jack Sparrow Bay. All right, all right, let's move on. Anthony Timmons, on the Tory spelling, wears diapers. He says, what a mess, another Hollywood weirdo. Well, she's always been part of the weirdos in Hollywood, and she's always been a mess, you know? They did. You crave that riches and fame and shit and the attention. That's what. That's what this is. Anyways, all right. Anyway, cheers, Timmins. Thank you. Thank you. Timmins becoming a regular. I'm getting the National Weather Service alert right now. You can't hear it because I have a compressor on the microphone. Oh yeah, I'm getting better at this. But I'm telling you, there's a thunderstorm warning and tornadoes all across my area until eight eleven p.m. Shit. Effective until 941. All the floods over there from fucking Houston, Texas. They're coming over here to fuck my area up. That's crazy. All right, you guys. I hope we don't lose broadcast while we're doing this. Let's keep this moving. Cheers, Timmons. Thank you for commenting. Whoa. Out of fucking outer space. It's none other than Jitsimus Prime. <laughs> and you know how we do when we do what it is that we do on this channel. So let me fucking play Jitsimus fucking intro and shit. You cut it really, you cut it really short, Jitsimus. Let me just see. remind everybody. If I do special shit for you like this that I'm about to do. And that includes sending me stuff for me to show on your social medias. Don't send it to me an hour, 40 minutes, or even 15 minutes before the show. Because I, I, sometimes I get, I get home from work late, and I don't have time to do this shit. Y'all are lucky I rushed through this, but I was able to do this on time. It ass. You know? It helps if you do it during the week. I'm prepared. You do, do it right away at the end. You gotta rush. But anyways... Did some minutes. Don't worry. I was able to do this. So let's hear you read your comment to us from a galaxy far, far away. Greetings, Wokus dude. Your impression of me was great, but it sounded like I had a little too much energon to consume. Well, according to what my fellow bot Liltron said, 
Anyway, your show was fresh and great, but I do have this one question. Why did you call me a dick? I'm confused because by the definition of what your governments have put in the World Wide Web, it means I'm a walking phallus. I hope we can get past this because in reality it makes zero sense due to me not even being made of flesh. I hate that I wasted time with this subject besides talking about one of our epic adventures. Well, please forgive me if I went too hard on you. I'm still learning your customs. Well, till next time. Till all are one. Hashtag woke pack for life. Oh, yeah. Woke pack for, 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 for life. Even from space and other galaxies. Fucking aliens represent our gang here on the woke pack right here, motherfuckers. Um, I called you a dick. Meaning like, uh, don't be an asshole. Shit. Actually, I think that will confuse you too. You're gonna, you're gonna wonder why I'm calling you a fucking asshole. Um, it's just like playing around, you dumbass. I don't think you're gonna understand that one either, dumbass. Fuck. Uh... You're asking the wrong person to explain this. The smart guy doesn't he's not here anymore. <laughs> Look, it's just me giving you a nickname, a play around nickname. Alright, your nickname is just like dick and shit. You know, just like kinda saying, you know, like Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I was never good at English or grammar in, in middle school or high school, alright? And I did go to college. Uh, I don't know how to explain it to you. It's just don't worry. It's not a bad thing. You're not an actual you're not an actual dick And just like a nickname I'm giving you but I can give you several nicknames like asshole or pussy or cunt or fucker Or you piece of shit But I like dick or you bitch <laughs> Asshole there's a lot of nicknames I could give you. It's just a nickname just a miss prime. That's all it is It's just a nickname. You know, I don't know what I'm saying uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, I understand that the, the AI is obviously not as good as an actual fucking robot. Because unfortunately, the robots AIs that are here in America or in, a, in, the, in the Earth were made by humans. You were made... Well, we don't know why the fuck you were made by the spark of life, whatever the fuck that is, and a bunch of machines that were uh, a hunk of junk that was put together, and a little thing floated in you, and you became alive. That's how the comics say. I don't know. You tell me, explain me that shit. Who the fuck made you? Alright, because in our shit, so you gotta fuck somebody and put sperm inside a vagina to make some eggs. Well, trans people might fucking, you know, have their own little thing about that. They might say that's not true, but, you know. Oh, yeah, we're all going to hell. Oh, well. Cheers, Jits and Mits. We'll catch you next time, motherfucker. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Gomer Kyle on the Ozempic epidemic is spreading. He says... Like I said on the Tory Spelling video, it's just narcissism of Hollywood. These idiots are passing this trends to their children, yeah. So they can become fake and more plastic, what the fuck? Hashtag. Live. Anyways, happy May the 4th. Cheers. Man, May the 4th used to be so cool. Um, and then Disney took it over. And shit. But anyways, uh, actually, you know, I'm gonna say one thing. Go and download your Fortnite, Lego Fortnite. There's Star Wars all over Fortnite right now, and it's badass. I was playing for a little bit when I got out of work, uh, which is why I wasn't prepared for the podcast because I should have been doing stuff. But I was playing <laughs> the video games instead. All right, sue me. I'm gonna have some kind of joy in my life. He's not just fucking putting up with Joe Biden and the ass he's feeding me every goddamn day. The prices, the gas, fuck all that. No raise at work. Shitty hours. Bullshit pay. Nobody tips you. Fuck you, Joe Biden. Anyways, cheers, Gomer. Thank you for that. 
I'm getting ready for when I run for president in 10 more years. That's why I'm going like this, y'all. When I talk and shit. So you know that I mean it, motherfuckers. Anyways. Oh, let me make sure this is the last comment, this son of a bitch. It is, it is. All right, let me give him a like and a little heart. Oh, <laughs> but it's none other than Houston Tejason, Jose Tevino. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Yeah. Tienes envidia, puto. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Jose Trevino, straight from Houston, Texas. I think I hope you're okay, motherfucker. You're not getting flooded or haven't been evacuated over there. Stay safe. Uh, he says on the comment video. Uh, oh shit. Sorry, pressing all the wrong buttons. Here we go. What up, gay? I mean, effing guy, you. Now I feel bad talking about Kenny Omega, but maybe you should feel bad too, son, about talking about Fat Falcon. Maybe he got a disease too, and here you're talking about these diseases, burger eating fat fucks. Anyways, you're right about that simp Zack Snyder. He can't write a story worth a damn. When I saw the trailer to Rebel Moon, I just thought of more boss girl power crap. Boring. Cheers. Woke pack, East Sun. Cheers. Hashtag woke pack. Hashtag. Oh, wait. Hashtag. Woke, woke pack. World order. Oh, yeah. Oh. We're going to talk more about Fat Anthony Mackey. And now he doesn't have no disease because the motherfucker keeps eating his ways. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, if he if he wanted to, he'd be in, he would look like Michael B. Jordan right now. Or Kanga Conqueror. Son of a bitch. That motherfucker just likes going out to eat at Chili's every night. Going over there to Outback. Having that, that onion. The blooming onion and shit. That's all he... That's all... That's, just, that's the life he lives. The Hollywood. Fucking going out. Chilling. Fuck you. You didn't go to the gym three hours in the morning. One hour in the midday. And three hours at night. Son of a bitch. That's what Chris Evans did. Chris Hemsworth. All the motherfuckers. Superman. The real Superman. Henry Cavill. Fuck even Affleck got pumped to be Batman for fuck's sakes. Mackie's just gonna sit on his ass, drink beer and fucking toast every night over there at fucking Chili's and Applebee's. Fuck you, Mackie. We'll talk about more of that tonight. Joe Cool. Bringing it up. Bringing up subjects for the podcast. They're gonna come out later. Bringing up early. Fucking guy. Cheers, Joe Cool. I love you. Ah, uh, Thank you all for commenting. You make this fucking channel with your bullshit. Uh, I don't know what this shit is saying. Something about errors. Anyways, I just closed it. Remember? Oh, Cetrevino's here! I got a hit for this dick again! Repites tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, Envidia, puto. Cheers, Cetrino. Stay safe, you motherfucker. Just letting you know, representing all the way from Houston, Texas, East Town, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I represent all you motherfuckers. The woke pack for life. You know what it is. Pressing all these buttons, man. I swear to God, it's fucking up the channel. But it's okay. I do it for y'all. Appreciate you, everyone. You for commenting. Like I said, you make the comments. Send me stuff to my social media. Fuck TikTok. We're done with the shit. Well, I appreciate you, you motherfuckers. On the real.
hey you like this kind of content how about giving this a like and a subscribe and if you want to watch the full show click on the link on the right or check the description